Well, Cal Poly is changing a little bit, and uh, we started this summer on a trip to France that we put this international rules at 24 second clock. And with the with the advent of the 30 second shot clock and the recruitment that we've had, and the transfers we've had, and turners of five starters, and um, some, some quickness and athleticism, we're actually looking at pushing the ball. And we went through the entire uh, trip there, and we only had uh, two shot clock violations with a 24 second shot clock. So we just felt like our offense needs to get up, be more aggressive, push it, take the first early shot. So we're, we're going right at it this year and decided to change our, our tempo. We're going to push it and have more possessions. And that uh, was very successful in Paris. You know, from the onset, we looked at year three being a year where we needed to show a significant amount of improvement. I thought the first two years would be if we could win some games, it would be great. But I thought leading everything up to the year three was the most significant year for us, particularly building a basketball program. You get your first year, you figure out who you want to recruit. Second year, you recruit them. Third year, you, you hope those guys are bought into the culture. I played with nine scholarship players my first year, seven scholarship players last year, and this year uh, it's going to be close to it's going to be close to twelve or thirteen. And a total at, at we're walking on is probably at seventeen players, so we're actually going to be able to practice this year too. So. Uh, and we're going to be young, you know. Unfortunately, the young guys that I had last year that had to sit out, you know, didn't get a chance to play with the veteran team, so they're coming back with no experience. So they're talented, but it's going to be kind of one of those seasons where you're really like. Man, how'd you guys win that game? You're like, Jesus, how'd you guys lose that team? You know, that's kind of what I think is going to happen. When you have a season like we had last year, unknown's good. You know, I mean, having everybody back on it from a disappointing season sometimes can be uh, a daunting task. So it's almost like, okay, we had five senior starters. We weren't good enough last year. It's time to wipe the slate clean. It's kind of start over, and that's what we're going to do. You know, UC Davis basketball is here to stay, to be a force. And um, like I said, I think it's building off that foundation of our work ethic, our attention to detail, and uh, have an appreciation for the hard work that went into uh, building the program and you know, continuing to infuse it with talent, continuing to infuse it with guys who are team-oriented and concerned about we versus I. And we feel we have that group. And we, we feel that, um, you know, even though we lost them, some guys that were very productive and valuable to our program that uh, we're not taking a step backward. I feel really good about our team. And, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to miss John Ryan and Will Davis and Travis Souza. Those guys were all really important players for us. But the uh, thing I feel really good about is that our staff's done a terrific job of recruiting. So we've been deep and we will remain talented. And with those guys gone, we're, we're gonna be weaker in some areas, but we may also be stronger in some areas. So um, I'm excited for that, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the improvement of the other veterans that are still returning for us, like Mamdu and Alex and Luke and Jaron um, and Dominique. So we got, we got a lot to look forward to. You know, it's an interesting dynamic. We only have five returners. Uh, so we got a lot of new bodies that we're going to need. Now those five returners have a big impact. Obviously the two you mentioned, Taylor and Jalen. Stephen Jones is in that mix as well, and he's healthy. I thought it was a big loss for us at the end of the year last year. And uh, so to have those three seniors, uh, and I would say this, they've had the best offseason that I've seen seniors have as far as their physical development, mental development, um, so it's exciting to, for Riverside to have that kind of talent and leadership in their senior class. We're really going back to how we played when we had Orlando Johnson and James Nunley, when I had Mark Cole and Brandon Fulop. Some of our really good teams have been guard oriented and we are very strong at the two, the three, and the four. Those kids can all really score the ball. John Green, Michael Bryson, Michael Bryson first team all league player, and Gabe Vincent the freshman of the year. And so all those kids are really productive offensive players, so we'll have a little more wide open style when we're not having to look to get the ball to that post player every time down the floor. A lot of times, we talked about this before, Rob, and now people make their predictions based on what you're returning and what you're adding. The reality is it's the improvement of those returning guys and the improvement of the, of, of the new guys. And, you know, it's really exciting to see how can a team come together. Each year is completely different. I mean, there's obviously things we can build off of, and I hope there's some surprises in there as well.